Hi, welcome along. Having a look at the Philips Hue Light Strip Plus. I've had the first look, I did that yesterday, but today I'm gonna to take a close up look. So what I really wanna check out here are some of the details that I couldn't find myself when researching this product online. So I wanna contribute. Maybe you are looking for these exact details as I was for the last few weeks. So the first part of this video is useful if you just want to know the general dimensions of the product, if you're just going to install it somewhere, a little bit like putting Christmas lights on your Christmas tree, right? You just plug the pieces together and just string it around and it works. And I tested that with the first look yesterday and that's what this does. It just works. Plug it all in and it works. And the second part of this video, I'm going to go into a little more detail as I start to pull the strip apart. More on that in a moment. So first up, let's have a little look here. This is the power brick. Now, quite simply, it's an AC-DC. It's uh, taking in uh, AC and it's outputting DC. And it is 24 volts. Not a lot of amps there, 0.83 amps. So about 20 watts is what you expect out of this power supply. And very simply, there we go. Right, so first of all, the question you might have is, how big is this? Let's check it out. Crossways, we're at 45 millimeters. Right. Oh, I read about 36. I think we could call that 80 mil. Next thing to have a look at is the cable. Now, the cable has a different socket on each end. Uh, this is a female socket on either end and very easy to just plug in but you do need to make sure you get them correct. So one side is a little bit bigger than the other. The bigger one, that one goes into the power brick. The smaller one fits into the smart part. Looks like seven mil to me. The small side, six. One millimeter, nothing in it. Beautiful drawing, I know. Next, let's have a look at this. This is the controller box. So this is what is receiving the Zigbee signals from the Philips hub, and it's what's making the light strip go all the beautiful pretty colors. It's expecting 24 volts. This is 830 milliamps about 20 watts of power, not a lot, and 35 by 70, and a depth of 18. Then out of the box, we come across to the start of the strip. How long is that? So I measure 131 mil to the start of the heat shrink, or the, the wrap there. So the first LED, you've got about 175. What I'd like to do next is have a look at measuring the actual light strip. A couple of measurements I'm interested in here. One is, what are the segment cuts? So you can actually cut this strip. There are scissor marks. So I'll measure for you between the scissor marks, but then also the width in its plastic sleeve and the height. So let's do the easy ones first. I see about just on 15 millimeters. I'm gonna call it five mil. It's probably 4.5, but let's call it five mil. Between the middle of there and then The next one. Let's take a look. I see 33 centimeters, 330 millimeters. Spot on. Right, that concludes the first part of this video, the close up look. Now you've got the measurements. If you're thinking about buying this and unboxing it and plugging it all in and you wanna know if it fits down beside your bed head, well, now you know the exact measurements. Next, however, I wanna have a closer look. Right, 
let's take a look at the safety instructions. Now, the reason I bring up the safety instructions is because I want you to be aware of what you're doing. I'm aware. I know the hot end from the cold end of a soldering iron, and if you happen to know it also, well then continue along this journey with me as I put this Philips Hue Light Strip Plus into the staircase. I mean, there's no way in the world this, in its current form, will go into the staircase the way that I want. If you've done uh, a bit of soldering in your past, as I have, then let's continue this journey together. But we should just check that the guarantee is void if the fitting is not installed according to the instructions or if it has been repaired or modified. Yes, I will be modifying this product. So if you do the same, you will be modifying it and you will say bye-bye to your two-year warranty. So let's have a look in more detail at this strip. In particular, the big thing that I'm going to do is I want to know the dimensions of the product without the plastic. So, it's actually quite easy to pull apart. I was very pleased to see that you can actually just peel back the double-sided tape and then you actually see there's no cutting needed to take off this plastic sleeve. It's just a little bit glued on there. Now, of course, you want to be really careful with this. But the ribbon is not that delicate. Be mindful of it, but don't be scared. Now you start to see the raw product. Is that close up enough for you? Let's do those measurements again. With the plastic sleeve on, we had 15 millimeters. Uh, now we can see that with the sleeve off, I'm down to 13. Yep, yeah. I'm gonna say 13 millimeters there. The height, look for one of those big leads. Okay, that's at about three millimeters. Right, so there we have it. There are all the dimensions. Your close-up look, there it is. I wanted to share this with you as I was trying to find out the details myself. Now, I do understand why, of course, Philips don't include all of these dimension drawings and information on their website, because the point is, this is an appliance. You unwrap it from the package and you plug it in and it just works. That's how they can give a two-year guarantee. So I don't expect ever to see a product that is highly uh, possible to modify ever. I mean, if you look at the other options of people doing the do-it-yourself LED installation, they're just buying a long strip of uh, LED tape and then needing to wire it up with various power supplies and all sorts of variables, things could break. The reason I went with a Philips Hue, as I said, is this is what I believe to be good quality, and it will also connect perfectly with the rest of the Philips Hue lights in the house. So I'm gonna continue in the near future with this Philips Hue Light Strip Plus modification project on the staircase. So feel free to subscribe and follow along as I finish building the staircase and then putting the light strip in place. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.